Okay, in continuation of our discussion of cognitive load theory, um, I'd like to introduce three different types of cognitive load. Now again, co cognitive load is um, load that is placed on working memory, um, which is a, has a very finite capacity. There are three types of cognitive load. The first is intrinsic load. And intrinsic load is related to the complexity of the information that the person is paying attention to and processing. So for instance, if um, this person here is paying attention to an e-learning course and um, the lecturer is talking about a and demonstrating a very complex um, conceptual map with many, many pieces, then that is going to place a high intrinsic load on the person's work, visual working memory. Okay, so for instance, if you have something very simple like a math problem like two, what is the answer to 2 plus 2, that has a fairly low intrinsic load. Another math problem like um, solve for y and y equals 3x squared plus 4x plus 13, um, is going to have a much higher intrinsic load because it has more parts and the parts are related more um, com in a more complicated manner. Now the next type of cognitive load is called extraneous load. And extraneous load is essentially um, load, load on the uh, working memory that is completely unrelated to the learning task at hand. So it is essentially a distraction from the learning process. So this person here, his cat jumped up on his computer screen and started meowing and begging for food. Now the working memory of our learner here is, is partially loaded by this extra information. Now the working memory of this person is starting to think, hey, there's a cat. My cat just jumped up on my screen. Um, and starting to think about, oh, maybe I need to feed my cat, etc. This is requiring mental effort, and this is distracting from the person's learning. Now, the third type of cognitive load is called germane load. Now, germane load is mental processing effort that is going di directly towards or supporting the development of schema in long-term memory. So this is actually the mental effort of creating connections to existing knowledge or creating connections between um, novel information. Now the major goal, so again germane load is um, schema development and it this requires um, activities from the teacher um, that help that act, uh, germane load um, are things like scaffolding, sequencing, and rehearsing. Now the goal of a teacher is to um, minimize intrinsic load, minimize extraneous load, and maximize germane load. Because the object of a um, teacher is to help the learner, the learner um, create new connections between ideas and store the information in long-term memory.